Uh oh, we got a bunch of merch that will be discontinuing to make room for our new collections coming soon. But we took all that soon to be discontinued merch, put it in one big last chance collection, and gave it 5% off automatically applied at checkout. This last chance collection includes our venting and spiders attack the town tie-dye shirts and stickers, clue house shirt and sticker, and the PSD beanie and trucker cap. The collection is only going to be available until the 31st of October, and after that it'll be gone forever. So check it out at pleasestopshopping.com. That's pleasestopshopping.com. Did you guys know that after piercing care is just like salt water? I didn't. What? Yeah, the the, the well Oh, I guess maybe maybe your your ear piercings were done when you were a kid, right? Oh, no, I got I got my ears pierced at Claire's. Don't get your ears pierced at Claire's. No, my do wife not. Says that ears. every time we are in the mall and we pass by the Claire's, every single time she's Claire's like, Claire's is dangerous. Don't get your ears pierced there. And I'm like, I'm not gonna get my ears pierced, honey. I'm like, don't get your ears pierced there. Why not? You look you'd look banging. You could have like a fucking. You could have Fortnite earrings. I don't I don't mind tattoos. I don't mind piercings. But I'm very much a a. a Type A standard human. What do you mean type A? What's what? Everything are out of the box is the way it is, except for my eyes are all fucked up. Name yep. all types right now. Name uh, all types right legs, now. You fucking feet, toes, fingers, fingernails. That's not types. That's not types. You said types, not body parts. Huh? There's like a billion different types of human. We got all different types. Oh, this guy's inclusive. Oh, yeah. My uh, <laughs> my a friend of mine got his ears pierced at a house party when everybody was really shit faced. Holy! And shit. he mentioned it to like. A girl that was there that like like he mentioned it haphazardly. Oh, I've been wanting to get my ears pierced for so long, but I keep like putting it off. And she goes, "I'll fucking do it right now. Come with me." No. And then they both went to the bathroom, and how he got his ears pierced was like she fucking heated up a needle. No. On, and, like the no. And like the oven. Oh, I was just gonna talk. I was like, I have a similar experience. And uh, and then and then she like put some alcohol on it to disinfect it, and then she put. She put an apple bes behind his earlobe. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> and, th and then she pierced his ear. And then there was like blood everywhere. No fucking and I, shit. And I was watching the whole time and he looked like he was about to pass out. And he kept looking at me like, does it look good? Does it look good? And I had like, <laughs> I had like, yeah. And I had like three beers in my head and I was always like, dude, you look so fucking cool. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, did he get an infection or? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, no I fucking shit. <laughs> But let what me tell you, he looks Dude. banging right now. This was like five years ago. Oh, did he? So he got an infection and then it cleared out. Yeah. He just doesn't have an ear anymore. Yeah, he's an adult. It's fine. You know, like a Ripper doc in cyberpunk? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my mom uh, and her friends basically had that for like ear piercings and tattoos. It was just this guy... <gasps> Uh, Nick. It, okay, so I have to explain. When I was little, we used to go over to a family friend's house. Her name was Linda. Uh, she thought she was a witch, and she was always slowly losing her mind. She had a safe okay. that was filled with like potions and a spell book, and she tried to cast. Wait, hexes, whoa, wait! This is fucking um, awesome. Racist Texas. Uh, <laughs> I uh, but her her her, her son. Fucking... Her son was like uh, this twenty year old guy. I would have been like I, I want to say a, a little bit younger than my mom and uh, my mom's friend who was his sister, and he would pierce their ears for them with a hot needle, and he had this tattoo gun that was like a weird tattoo gun contraption uh, that was like thread and pen ink, and he would like give people tattoos. One day I went over there and we're like he's like watching the Animatrix on his like CRT TV in his room, and he pulls out his tattoo tattoo gun, and I I can't remember how old I am at this point, maybe like seventh eighth grade, and he like you want a tattoo and i'm like absolutely not absolutely not absolutely not but he keeps like walking up to me and like following me throughout linda's house like oh, you sure you don't want a tattoo bud you want a tattoo my mom's just sitting there like don't give my kid a tattoo like don't <laughs> don't do that don't give my kid a tattoo all the while linda is yelling at the black people across the street no no linda no she's reading from her spell book <laughs> i need can, I, can we get I, some samples i i really need like i I have a feeling I know what a like. I, I'm guessing it's curses and hexes, right? It's like a. It's Can a, we so get a sample? A, I can't because a lot of the curses and hexes all had the N word intertwined through them. You don't have to say oh the N word. <laughs> you don't I don't. Have to say I, there was the like a, a potion of I think death. You do. There was like a potion of bad luck, and one of the one of the potions I think was like. Uh, it, I, I can't remember what it was called. It was like written in fake Latin and I'm pretty sure she would go over at night and like dump it on one of the neighbor's lawns. What? And I think it was just straight up like Drano in a glass bottle. What the fuck? <laughs> 
keep talking. What? Please Christ. keep talking. <laughs> I, I have a really I have a really oh vivid memory God. of this safe filled with these potions. And one of them is just Drano, but I also just remember she had this little game filled with plastic pigs. And every time I would go over there, I would steal all of the pigs out of the game. And so she'd have to buy a new one. Oh, the are you talking about that little uh, the little game with the dice and the pigs? Yeah, it was like a pigs yeah. and dice. Yeah, I used to steal all of the pigs out of it. Uh, there there came a time where she stopped buying new ones uh, because she figured out that I <laughs> stole all of the pigs. I had this big like half bucket filled with plastic pigs back at my house. What would you do with them? Huh? I don't know. Just collect them. I just collected them. I think I tried to plant them. Honestly, you don't even need. Did you just say you tried to plant them? <laughs> yeah, I think I think at one point I tried to plant them because well, I was a weird kid. I'm a weird adult now, but like I, I would go through periods where I would try to like cast magic myself. Uh, like one time I spray painted sigils on my grandparents' trailer and I got in a lot of trouble. It's okay though, because like a week later the trailer burned uh, down. So wait, so they worked. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. So what we're learning here is you were. <laughs> As a child, wait, as a child, you would go to this strange woman's home where she would tattoo and pierce people. Her son. And at the, oh, her son. But but she was a witch. She definitely she thought claimed. she was a witch, yeah. Self-proclaimed witch. Yeah, well, you say that, but have you followed up with all those people of color? <laughs> <laughs> this is awful. This is really awful. It this. was the Midwest in the early to middle 2000s. So many people were racist and I didn't know what any of it meant when I was a kid. Oh, nobody did. Like uh, my grandparents said stuff and like it, you come back after it years later in retrospect and you're like, holy my shit. My grandma was dude. at my house a week ago and she said the N word there and I had to be like, Nana, stop. Oh man. Dealing with old people. Holy Can you shit. pass your Nana the mic? <laughs> I could call it. You want me to call her right now? I'll call her right now. I'm not joking. Oh. She will answer. Oh, I'll let's get her on get, the podcast. Let's get, let's get Nana. Let's get Nana Brendan on the, on all right, the phone. All right. Let me pull up my 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 Nana. Tell her to bring her spell book. <laughs> Stop. Hi, Nana. Oh my god. Hello, Brendan. Hi. Um, I just wanted to call you. I'm recording a podcast. Um, do you remember anything anything weird that I did when I was a kid that you wanted to uh, say? I have you on the microphone here. Anything weird? Yeah, when I was a kid, was there anything weird I did you wanted to share? You used to dress up like a ninja. Yeah. <laughs> Fortnite ninja? <laughs> well, Are you talking about when I used to like put a bunch of Walmart bags on my body and I was the plastic bag ninja? Oh my, yeah. that, I remember you showed us pictures of that. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Brendan. That's the only weird thing I can think of. Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn, you're so normal. <laughs> All right, well, I appreciate that, Nana. I love I loved having you on the podcast here for Thank a little bit. I'll so call much. you later. Okay? I love you, Nana. Okay. All right, love you. Bye. <laughs> Yeah, I'll just call my. I'll just call. I'll just call my family. Like I'll just. She get was a. Uh, she she was the one that kept being like, "Go take pictures at the photo booth." Right. Yeah, well, because she paid for yeah, her. Yeah, her and my mom yeah. paid for it. Yeah. So they were like, yeah, "Hey, nobody, go nobody take used pictures. it. Nobody except used us. it except for like friends." Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, that's the same grandma who raided my RuneScape account when I was a kid and stole my Obby Whip. Oh, what the fuck! You should have fucking. You should have fucking. <laughs> Put her on blast. I already put her on blast at like uh, last Thanksgiving about it. I was like, Nana, <laughs> she admitted it. That's Take evil. You can't do that fucking... to Nana. What's the name of the company that makes RuneScape? Jagex? Yeah, take her to Jag Expo and just and just fucking corner her. <laughs> is there a Jag Expo? <laughs> Make her pay you back. Oh probably. no, her big her big thing right now is making um she makes a lot of like Barbie dolls accessories uh to the point where she's been stealing my little bro my little brother Garrett lives with her and she's been stealing his wrestling dolls as her Barbie's boyfriends. <laughs> That's what she'll say. She's like, I got this one. I got this one edge doll. And I just, he doesn't vibe with the other dolls. <laughs> oh, actually, I actually have something grandma related. I hate, I, I'm sorry Wait, for okay. like taking up so much no, time talking okay. about my grandma. I just think it's, I think it's so funny, right? Because you asked, did I do anything weird? And you know why she doesn't have anything weird? Because everything is so normal. <laughs> Like every weird thing you do is normal in your family, apparently. She's been so she's been, 
I've been going on road trips with my uh, my great aunt, her sister, Becky, and they went to Texas. And apparently they went to Texas and I called her when she was coming back. And she's like, we have a new idea. We're going to stalk YouTubers and record footage. And we want you to teach us how to edit the footage so we can what? post them on YouTube. Not a joke. She went to Texas. They went to Texas. Apparently my grandma and my great aunt we're going to famous YouTubers' houses that were publicly what? available online, standing outside and taking pictures during their trip in Texas. What the fuck? And these what? are like YouTubers who are like family YouTubers who are like, are like Christian or like family oh, YouTubers. No, no. So she was just going to their houses with my aunt and like fucking taking pictures of their houses. And then I call her and I'm talking to her because it was like my brother's birthday on the 4th. And uh, I was just trying to be like, hey, is there anything he wants from Ikea? And she just starts going off about like, we have this great fucking idea, Brendan. Great idea. <laughs> we want to record videos of these people's houses and then put them up on YouTube. But we want your help learning how to edit it. That's so oh. fucking funny. <laughs> Oh one God. of these days, one of these days, I'm going to go pick up my mail and I'm just going to see Brendan's grandmother <laughs> in a bush. <laughs> Scatter! Fuck! <laughs> they found you. So did you do it? No, I asked her. Uh, she was over this Sunday because we're trying to do a family dinner thing every month. Oh, and did I was she like do it asking again? her about it. No, she. Uh, oh, okay. I, I was asking her about it because I, I think it's just a joke. Like, it's not like like they really are going to do it. But then they were starting to talk about like TikToks. And what if we just put it on TikTok instead? Oh and my, my mom's God. like, oh, yeah, you can just throw it up on TikTok because they don't care. Throw that slop on TikTok. So I, anyway, going to be there. getting my grandma into the Fortnite game. Uh, going to be getting... <laughs> <laughs> gonna be getting here on Fortnite Battle Royale. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's time for her to pop up. Nana plays. <laughs> Brendan, can you Nana use please. your can you use your Epic Games creator code clout to get your grandma not into <laughs> Fortnite, but in <laughs> Fortnite? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta use my epic connection and be like, "Hey, can you please put my grandma on Fortnite as a skin? It would be so fucking epic." She's gonna be, she's gonna, it's gonna be really easy to do her player model. She's outside your house right now, taking pictures <laughs> of you. <laughs> Just bring her in for a three D scan. <laughs> She's gonna be in that bush on the left. Yeah, the one that's shaking. You can see just the eyes, just the big spectacles, just the DLSR. <laughs> where, where the flashing photography is happening? <laughs> Dude, every time you think your family's a bit wacky, think back, think again, dude, think again. <laughs> I was, I was talking to Ten earlier because uh, Ten was taking a break, and I was talking. I was talking to them, and I was like, "Yeah, it's it's hard to come up with stories. I gotta like have something spark it up because there's too many there's too many like stories in the hole, and if I don't like have something to spark that memory, I'm not gonna be thinking about it." That's fair. You guys always have such wild stories about your family. I think the only like quote like wacky person I have in my family is my mom. When I say wacky, I mean like on like school nights at like 12 a.m. She'll wake me up and she'll she would say, Sheena, I need you to come sing with me right now. Sing? <laughs> sing? sing. <laughs> yeah. And so she Aww. would drag me out of bed into the kitchen and we would uh, she would make me sing like um, bring me to life. Uh, by <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? <laughs> yeah. I would ask her, like, why are we doing this? I have school tomorrow. And she just said, since you're my daughter, our voices would sound pretty similar, and I think it would sound good. <laughs> She's not wrong. <laughs> Do you both sound the same? Can you call your mom right now. <laughs> let's, let's get all our fa I'll call my mom right now. No, I'm not. My mom's just going to be really confused in, in French. <laughs> call her she's gonna like start lecturing me and i don't want to put that on the end <laughs> <laughs> uh, if i call my mom i'm just gonna talk again about what my ex stepdad sent my brother on his birthday which <laughs> my 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 mom my mom is going through a divorce and my my now ex stepdad uh texted my brother happy birthday and then went to this giant paragraph where i was lying naked on the floor when i woke up this morning and I, he goes into this big thing what? apparently he got like incredibly drunk and naked in the bathroom and passed out and like texted happy belated birthday i was lying naked on the floor in the bathroom my father it was like a noir film 
file. I'd have to ask my brother to text me like the whole a, thing. A, a noir film. It was like a noir. It was like a, how a detective in a noir fair film like, narrates saying, their day. I like that. Oh my god. I don't know why he texted my brother like happy birthday and then all of that though because he's like not in any of our lives now. He's like out there. So like I'm maybe, just really confused maybe he about really, it. Maybe he really appreciated your brother. Maybe you should just <laughs> let him share Maybe you should call. Maybe you should call him dad for once. <laughs> Yeah. Call him bald for Ooh, once. Damn, you're spicy. I'm sp I'm, I'm I'm on 15 Vicodins sucking on that Scooby Doo dick today. What? Yeah. I woke up in the bathroom today. I woke up naked, lying on the bathroom floor. <laughs> my blood was pumping in my heart and my head. Slowly, as I rose from the bathroom floor, I looked up. The lights were off. <laughs> Is your ex stepdad Rorschach? <laughs> did I did I ever tell you about? Because I haven't talked about my stepdad. All the shit he's done because I was trying to be respectful, but now that he's ex step dad, I can drop some like horrible knowledge. He's Deal. an insane person. <laughs> the, like, I, I, was he the was, NFT guy? Yeah, he's the NFT yeah, guy. Yeah, he's the NFT guy. Trying to talk to me about, hey, Brendan, do you know about Metabots? And I'd be like, oh shit, Metabots? I love Metabots. Yeah, it's this new NFT project I'm oh, looking for at. Fuck's <gasps> sake. Did Metabots do fucking NFT? No, it was a weird. I, I, I looked it up. It's a whole thing where one company owns like a specific type of rights to metabots and they're like often Weird. they're in some european country but they don't actually own metabots so they were trying to utilize that um to push uh do you remember the small soldiers live action film that was basically an nft yes, thing yes same yes. guy oh yeah wait oh, that was an nft yeah. thing no yeah. there was a okay there was an nft game announced for small soldiers and we got really excited until we learned that the company only makes nft games they were i think that's the same company that had like the weird rights to metabots because they also never Bro. got that off the ground i'd go crazy for a meta b action figure i love meta b meta b looks cool i missed the metabots so much i remember getting metabots and going to school and nobody knew what the fuck they were so everyone yes, was dude actually me. same I, I did you have the, those like really small ones that came with like the little dice and there was like a little game you could play with them oh i just got like the specific figures in like the plastic wrap i'd have to look up exactly what it was but i had like two figures i've never seen this before that's because yeah. brendan and i are old <laughs> yeah it was like that hey, you guys aren't that much older than me right how old are you i'm 30 so I'm 27. Oh, I'm 23. I'm lying on the bathroom floor naked. My blood is pumping. <laughs> <laughs> No, another, oh, another, like, uh, another wacky thing my, my now ex stepdad did was uh, one of his, like, many mental breakdowns. He, like, threw his wedding ring in the gutter and was texting a bunch of Snapchat pictures to the whole family of the ring in the gutter. He sent, like, 30 to 40 pictures on Snapchat, oh just the wedding ring in the gutter. Because, like, for the years him and my mom were married, every, like, six months, he'd go through this big mental breakdown, wouldn't get help, would get help, go back to normal, and have, like, a new bit. Mm. And uh, uh, once uh, it was bit. like, oh, I'm a big Bernie guy then i'm a big trump guy now i'm a big like nft crypto guy oh uh, he's just reinventing himself you gotta fucking give the man some credit. he's just going through his arcs right now i, yeah. I was about <laughs> i was about to say he, i think he's in wano arc we're about to get a uh, sky <laughs> island or whatever <laughs> gonna go to egghead is island that, is this one piece is this one piece there I once was a man is. named cole no. roger <laughs> <laughs> i'm lying on the bathroom floor right now i took a bite of gum gum <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Gum gum hitting different. <laughs> when did gum gum hit? <laughs> That's all I know about One Piece. By the way, it's I took a bite of gum gum. <laughs> and, oh, you took a bite of gum gum. Literally because of the four kids rap. And recently, me and one of my friends, Phil, who incidentally, also the guy who got his ear pierced with an apple behind his ear. Yeah, shout uh, out to him. Uh, <laughs> we were going to start the One Piece live action thing because neither of us have seen One Piece but all the piss heads were like, oh, this is actually good. Yeah. And then we literally opened up the first episode and we saw that it was an hour long. And we went, oh, dude, fuck this. It's a TV show on Netflix. They're always yeah, like but an it's, hour long. It's, I'm not watching an hour of one piss. Oh, I dude, liked God. it. I liked it. No, but, no, but it gets Brendan, better. Brendan, you like Funko Fusion. You I don't like down. Funko Fusion. I like you cursing people it. with Funko Fusion. Th this gets better. Uh, right before we went to fucking watch it we were in a group call with one of our other friends who's like a massive one piece head and he's been watching the one piece live action and he tells us like oh i hope you guys have fun because it's so good we didn't watch it we ended up watching the bear instead we watched two episodes of that and it was like oh this is fucking awesome 
But then we joined back that group call and he asked us, how was One Piece? Uh -oh. So we just started making shit up. We were like, oh yeah, it's pretty good. Episode <laughs> one, you know, he took a bite of gum gum. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, he got the stretching thing. Yeah, it was way better than I expected. Like we were being so vague. And he had only seen the first like three episodes. And then- um, Oh, so he just believed. Yeah, he just believed us. But then it got to a point where like, he, he asked us, what episode are you guys on? And we, and we went, oh, we, we stopped at episode six. But we met in like episode six of The Bear, which he still doesn't know we are watching instead. And then he goes like, oh, wait, are you guys going to watch episode seven today? Do you mind if I join? Because I haven't seen that one yet. And I just went, uh, uh, give me a second. And then I left <laughs> and I started texting Phil. Dude, what the fuck do we do? <laughs> Just watch it without context. You don't. Yeah, that's what he said. And then I said, no shot. And then <laughs> you instead, don't want to watch one that instead, bad. What, Jesus. And then instead of what we did, I just messaged him like, yo, dude, sorry, my stomach's hurting. Uh, whatever. I'm going to have to go to bed early. And then Phil left. And then we kept watching um, The Bear. We finished it. Came back the next day. We told him like, oh, yeah, we finished One Piece. And he said, oh, so what'd you think? Like, where does it end? <laughs> like One Piece. And I just <laughs> went, oh, they stopped at the island arc <laughs> i just started like <laughs> oh I was, I was like just moving my stretching my lips so hard when i said it i was like oh oh okay so that wow that they're really upping the pacing huh and i went oh yeah yeah he took he took many a bite of gum gum <laughs> are they isn't that like episode 40 of the original anime i have no clue man i have no clue <laughs> actually i mean I, I say that but i just realized they're all islands so what the fuck do i know all i know is one guy oh no i know two things i know that boy takes bite of gum gum and then yes. i know that uh, a guy a blonde guy used to be a cook yeah and, there's, uh, and, uh, and then yeah. While, and then while me and phil are watching the bear the whole time we're like as we're watching it we're talking about it to each other like it's one piece i don't know if you guys have <laughs> seen, i don't know if you guys have seen the bear but there's an episode that's like one continuous shot where it's like the entire kitchen staff freaking out and then at the end, one cook uh, turns to the head chef and she's like, you are an amazing chef, but you are a piece of shit. And then she walks <laughs> away and I just turned to Phil and I was like, you are an amazing pirate, <laughs> but you are a terrible straw hat. <laughs> Oh, that's literally uh, an arc with him. That's crazy. Is that actually an serious? arc in One Piece? Kind of with Sanji the chef. Yeah, a little bit, actually. Oh, he's Sanji <laughs> the chef guy. <laughs> but speaking of the bear, when are they going to put an actual bear in the bear? Literally when episode one. When are they going to cook one? Oh, oh, is there I mean, like a literal bear that like assaults the restaurant, like that breaks in. Oh, okay. I don't know. I only just finished season one and it was very good. Season two is when they up the ante and just get a fucking bear in. <laughs> they just they just get a bear. He doesn't ride a unicycle. He just rips through the restaurant every episode. <laughs> Why would he ride a oh unicycle? I don't know. Have you never <laughs> seen a bear? I mean, I, I've, bear? I've seen a bear on a unicycle. That's classic. Like you just go to the woods. He's got a little clown hat and he's on a unicycle. Who started the trope of bears being on unicycles wearing little clown hats going um <laughs> hugo uh, boss i guess hugo boss <laughs> you could be saying <laughs> no, the truth i wouldn't it fucking was the, know it was the grimms brothers right the balloon people <laughs> what what the, the what? hot air the hot air balloon guys the grim brothers the guys that invented like goldilocks and all that shit the brothers grim Am I stupid? I, dude, what, what are you saying? What are you saying right now? Didn't these guys write Goldilocks? But there's no bear on a unicycle wearing a little <laughs> clown hat. What are you talking about? Are you serious? Isn't the youngest bear, doesn't he always on a unicycle? And he's like, this unicycle fits no? just right or whatever the fuck? What? <laughs> no? It's just the circus act from the 40s. What are you talking about? The Goldilocks, there was like three bears in that. And they're like, who took my unicycle? Who took my bed? <laughs> this unicycle's too firm. This yeah. unicycle's too soft. <laughs> this unicycle's just right. And then That's she what eats I said. the unicycle. <laughs> what are you talking about? Brenda knows what I'm saying. I get it. She eats the unicycle. <laughs> yum, I'm lying yum. on the cold bathroom floor. <laughs> This bathroom floor is just right. <laughs> Adding new steps to your already established routine is annoying. 
I don't want to start doing things outside of my usual rituals that I'm going to forget to do or just not want to do. Life's too short, I'm too grumpy to do all that, screw it. And yet, when it came to adding ExpressVPN to my internet browsing routine, it was so easy, painless, and safe that I do it all the time without even thinking about it. ExpressVPN is so so easy to use. It's a VPN done right. Between it being blazing fast so I can stream in HD with no issues, and instant protection being one big button away with the ExpressVPN app, it's a no-brainer to add to your rituals. Oftentimes, I don't even realize I have it on, and yet, my connection is secure, the data is encrypted, and I can enjoy content available outside of my region by spoofing my location. With all that, it's no wonder it's been called the best VPN by CNET. Right now, if you you go to expressvpn.com slash pstpod, you can get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. That's expressvpn.com slash pstpod to get three extra months of ExpressVPN. expressvpn.com slash pstpod. I went to a piercing clinic. I got my lips done and my septum. I have like snake bites. And one thing I didn't know about this clinic, right? Because usually when you go there, they use clamps and they like open up your nostrils like with a giant fucking metal thing. They push it back so that they can find the mucous membrane. I learned that when I got there, the clinic I, I went to is a traditionalist clinic. So they only use a needle and nothing else. I got in. The guy start we the guy starts like looking how to how to set up the uh, the hole and everything and as he like I, like he makes me look up and then he looks in my nose and then he's like okay so what you're gonna do now so I can have a better angle inside your nose you're gonna lay down on this bed you're gonna grip it as hard as you can and you're going to do an L with your with your back oh what do you okay. mean do an L with my back so I'm trying to how do I explain this I was lying on my back and i had to bend down like a jung like on a jungle gym like one of those like uh, <laughs> like one of those Listen, jungle gyms to be able to get gripping. this piercing you'll have to do three exterior challenges welcome to <laughs> legend of the hidden temple <laughs> <laughs> i was gripping i i was gripping this thing hanging upside down my like just my the blood flowing up to my fucking oh my head gosh. And I was just like this for a solid 15 minutes <gasps> while he was just shoving markers up my nose. And the entire time, <laughs> he kept making jokes and being like, man, that must, this must really <laughs> suck for you, huh? You must really not be comfortable right now. And I was like, haha, yeah, but you, what, what you do for, for beauty, haha. And then he was like, yeah, totally, totally. Uh, Gr bad news you don't have a mucous membrane in your nose they put billy what? in the mechanism apparently this is an extremely rare thing that can happen it is possible that in your at the tip of your nose your septum extends over the mucous membrane and you don't have a sweet spot and it's all cartilage oh and he was like you don't have a sweet spot do you want to still go for it and i was already bent over with a marker up my nose so i was like <laughs> well when in rome <laughs> I, i'm gonna be honest I, like for like a solid 15 minutes just head backwards like completely upside down i i was feeling pretty not great already and then he was like well, okay well if you're sure usually this the septum doesn't hurt but since you're only you only have cartilage, you might have an issue. And I was like, okay, Billy, I'm gonna stop you right there, he, right now. What I'm imagining for all the Baldur's Gate three heads right now is that <laughs> your artist is Volo. You are being operated who on is by Volo right now. He's the dipshit bard who thinks he's like the <laughs> smartest man alive. Oh, that guy. Yeah. And oh, he, fuck. And there's a bit in the game where he's like, "Don't worry, I'll cure the tadpole. Let me grab this ice pick. Now I need you to go in a jungle gym oh, and my show me God. your nose." Yeah, that's basically what happened listen uh, billy we're gonna put you in the mechanism you're gonna love the mechanism but here's the thing you don't have a mucous membrane so. <laughs> if you've ever gotten a, a cartilage piercing on your ear imagine that but it's inside your nose you're upside down one of the most painful things that's ever had like in my entire life oh content warning trigger warning skip a few minutes if you don't want to hear about this because it's pretty fucking nasty i'm taking it's my headphones pretty... off tell me when the skate part's over okay i, I i'll tell I'll, I'll tell you miss sheena but yeah no uh 
Skip to 31 minutes, 57 seconds. I am lying on the bathroom floor. Please help me. If you don't want to hear the procedure. Was it like a quick jab or was it like a no. slow? No, it, it's a, it, it had to be slow because it was, it was like was a cardinal. glory kill from doom. It, it was like, it was like five minutes. I had this needle was maybe like it, it did like my entire f- wideness of my face, the needle. And he poked it really slowly through while I was back and i i had to not i couldn't make a noise i had to make zero noise the entire time because if i talked it would fuck with the piercing i couldn't help it and i just went because when it started i i was so surprised by the pain i just went oh <laughs> like the flapjack i didn't like, know i because i didn't <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know. I didn't know uh, what to you do. You sounded like a I, bear who ate a <laughs> unicycle. Dude, I I cuz it surprised me so much cuz I didn't think it would hurt because the entire time everybody I talked to about septums was like, "Oh, I literally didn't feel a thing." And for me it was the most painful thing I've ever done. And I was just backwards and I hear like, "Are you okay?" <laughs> One of the assistants just came in and she was like, "Are you okay? What's going on?" And I just was like right there the the needle was stuck in my nose while he was getting ready to put the jewelry in and i was gushing blood backwards and oh. pooling on the floor oh. and i was just like oh gee I, I i didn't know what to say so i kept, I kept going ouchie ouchie <laughs> like a fucking idiot and then he puts the jewelry in and everything and then he's like okay so you're gonna feel a bit faint i was out I, it was like i was in space um, Jesus Christ. I, he's like, okay, so you're going to slowly lift yourself back up. Because I was I was still like like an L, like face down backwards. I slowly raised myself up. I was, I just passed out. I passed out for a minute. It's lying cold on the bathroom floor. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I, that's how I felt, though, because afterwards I had to go to the bathroom to uh, to just clean off a bit of the like whatever happened on my face. And uh, I was in the bathroom like I, I ate a fucking diabetes diabetes tablet because I was just so like on endorphins and adrenaline and ready to pass out. Dude, so yeah, uh, if you're super down to get septum uh, and they say you only have cartilage, think twice, man. That was awful, but I think it looks cool. I uh, I don't know what it is, Brendan, but every time we bring back the fucking I'm lying on the bathroom floor, you know how I hear it in my head? Even though I, even though <laughs> is you it like speaking, Bojack Horseman? No, no, no. Even though I hear any of you saying that, I always, in my head, I it always autocorrects to that guy that's like, I got lotion on my dick right now. I got my hand on my dick. I'm horny as fuck, man. Yeah. I'm a freak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that one. I'm lying on the bathroom floor right now. I got lotion on my dick right now. <laughs> the the one thing I, the thing I'm remembering is that one song that's like ding, 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 ding. when I was in the first grade, I was lying on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> or like fucking whenever to pimp a, a song on to pimp a butterfly ends and then Kendrick Lamar starts talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I remember you was conflicted. Laying down on the bathroom floor. <laughs> oh my god! Lying on the floor, dude. So he didn't put an apple behind your ear. None of that. No, no, he, no, no he apple inside your nose. No, I, I asked him because the thing is, he also does, um, he also does uh, genitalia. Oh, okay. And what he said was that for those, he also only uses a needle. So for every single thing he does, it's just needles. And they're one... I know. I know, dude. <laughs> he was explaining this to me while, like, piercing my lips. And I was just like, cool, man. Like, <laughs> what do you want me to say to that, dude? I'm, I'm lying on this table with the needle in my lip. And he's just saying, like, oh, yeah, I also do penises if you're interested. And I'm like, dude... <laughs> 
I'm, I was just like, I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm I don't go home. <laughs> Listen, man, I got this iron. I got this small iron girder piercing. I can put it between your balls. <laughs> this iron girder. <laughs> you get, well, you get the iron oh girder through your balls, <clears throat> through your dick, and then up on your pelvis, you get under construction on there like a tattoo. <laughs> I learned. I learned that you can actually like he. You can get metal bars implanted in your chest. As, like as an aesthetic and how i saw it was just like <laughs> tom and jerry like some tom and jerry <laughs> shit where you just have a random square on your fucking chest it's so weird dude Wait, what oh, yeah dude people will do the crate dude body mods are crazy he uh, i was talking with him and he was like he was talking about how he used to do um uh, like ear cutting so basically, he, he, there's people that want to get their earlobes cut in half and have like two two dangling earlobes instead of one whole earlobe. I was like, what the fuck, man? People do the craziest things for... I mean, they have the reason, I'm sure, but it's just weird to me. Well, there are all kinds of different type of people. For joy. For joy. I mean, that's how I felt. When I came back to reality... After like all like passing out, I was just like I looked in the mirror. I saw my face like with the piercings, and I was like over the moon happy. But man, I am I I, I told the guy straight up like I'm you are never seeing my face again. I am never coming back here. That was awful, but thank you. That reminds me <laughs> of um, and this is gonna sound very rich to all the people here that that aren't European. But like a while ago, I had a cavity for the first time since I was like eight years old. I still no clue how the fuck I got it. And um, I was talking to my uh, I was talking to my mom like, oh, I got to find a dentist. And she's like, oh, I mean, everything's covered under your health insurance. So if you find a guy at most, you'll be paying him like 15, maybe 20 euros, but it's cash only. So I was thinking, OK, well, in that case, just to be safe, I'm going to take 50 bucks out because, yeah, that sounds about right. 20 bucks for a dentist. Again, I, I know this sounds rich, but yeah, that's Europe. Yeah, I have I have dental and vision, but I don't have health care because I get it through my wife's job. And my copay yeah. is usually like if it's if it's normal work, it's like 20 bucks. Anything oh, okay. else is way more. OK, so oh, 20, 20 to 50 bad. bucks for like a cavity with. Insurance. Look at us. Look at us talking about adult stuff. Yeah, I know. Right. I mean, my root canal, my root canal was like 1K even with insurance. So I wouldn't wish that on anybody. I'd be oh adulting gosh. right now. I'm adulting so hard. <laughs> totally adulting. Pumpkin spice. LeBay. <laughs> LeBay? What is LeBay? LeBay? I don't know. I'm just trying to get some new slang started. LeBay. <laughs> trying to try to throw out Choom. LeBay. Trying to throw out Gonk. Oh, yeah. Choom already exists. Yeah. Choom is fucking go, cyber Go crunk. off Choom feet. <laughs> I'm such, a, I'm such a gonk-pilled choom cell. Wow. <laughs> oh, dude, cyberpunk motherfuckers. Anyway, what was I saying? Dentist. Um, yes, I went to the dentist. I got the cavity filled in. And then uh, I was thinking, I had my cash on me, and I was like, all right, he's going to say like fucking 20, 15 bucks, or whatever. The guy's like, okay, I'm adding all this up. All right, that'll be 115 <laughs> euros. God damn. Oh, fucking, and that's after insurance. And I was waiting, like, for, I was waiting for him to say, haha, gotcha. Anyway, yeah, 20 bucks. Uh, but no, yeah, 115. And I was just like, oh, okay. Um, do you mind if I go get to the ATM real quick? And it was like, oh, yeah, sure, no problem. Americans with no insurance listening to this laughing right now dude i, I, I gasped <laughs> so i went i went out uh got the money and then came back paid the guy and then on the way out his fucking assistant came running out she was like oh hey before you go um we noticed that you have a bit of i don't know if this is how you say it in english tartar like the uh, oh, uh, enamel or whatever tart, tart, yeah well, uh, how do you say that in english uh, I don't know. Like, what, like you have to get your teeth cleaned. Uh, what do you call the shit that you're cleaning out? Like plaque. Yeah, black, black, black. Yes. black. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She was like, I mean, hey, when I get to a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube, they plaque my good. teeth. Good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Susan. Oh wow, um, we're so full of joke. But yeah, she on the way out, she was like, "Oh, hey, we didn't notice during the procedure that you have some plaque. Uh, here's our card." and call us to make an appointment to get the plaque out. And I just looked at her like, oh, thank you so much. I walked out, waited for her to close the door, instantly threw that shit in the trash. <laughs> never Aww. coming back there ever again. My God. Then I spoke to my mom and she was fucking like, she's a white woman. She was, she was outraged. She was about to call them. <laughs> she uh, was. <laughs> um, but then fucking we looked into it and like basically in Belgium, 
yeah. you have two different types of like private doctors you can go to. Some of them are like fucking top of the line that you pay raw. They're not part of your like insurance program. But then the other oh. ones, it's like they, they're like the fucking guys that you might have to like. You might not be able to get appoint, an appointment right away, but they'll be like under insurance, so you don't have to pay fucking 115 just to get a cavity filled in. Gotcha. But yeah, I, I did a very similar thing. I, I should have told her like, oh yeah, yeah, no, you'll see me. <laughs> you will see me never. <laughs> That reminded me fucking because your tattoo guy. My my tattoo guy? My piercing guy? Yeah, because you were saying that like you told him straight up you're never going to see my face again. Yeah, I mean, I, I say that, but I'm probably going to go get Helix there. So <laughs> <laughs> I, I say that. I say that, but see, the penis the tattoo thing. was really appealing. The, the, what are you talking about penis tattoo? It's piercing, oh, which is worse. I'm getting <laughs> truck nuts installed on top of my nuts. It's happening. <laughs> Double nuts. <laughs> I'm getting the fucking N64 that? It, it, rumble pack installed on my nutsack. <laughs> my dick gonna look like the Dreamcast controller. It's gonna have a slot to insert chips. Oh my goodness. <laughs> my, my my foreskin looking like the power glove. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like chips and guac or some shit. I'm a dumbass. No, oh, the Dreamcast controller, because you could put like thing you could put little oh, things. Oh, the there. VMU the, the VMU, is that what it's called? And you could you could bring your your uh, your chow with you from Sonic Adventure. Uh, you could also bring a bullet directly to my brain. <laughs> is that <laughs> Sonic? Is that is that another like a can you get like aesthetic shirt surgery to get like a bullet lodged in you? <laughs> <laughs> One guy did that. One or, or somebody did no that. No fucking way. I know for a no, fact you're somebody lying. I'm not lying. Somebody somebody did surgery. I'm a great yeah, somebody did surgery on themselves and put like a bullet inside them. I, I, I'm. This might be a false memory, but I swear to God, this is real. Why? I know that people can get bullets stuck in them when they like get shot. No, we're talking about for aesthetics, not not because you got shot. You, we're, we're not you talking have to about use like a surgical uh, gun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my gosh, shooting them and just oh closing it up at Oh my god, me. that's insane, dude. Oh, that's so god. gross. Bro, please revive, I have ray gun. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Stop lying on the floor, bro, please revive. <laughs> Stop. Oh my god. Stop. I'm trying to give you a, I'm trying to give you a aesthetic bullet. Please revive. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what a... What the fuck? Uh, I have like no transitions for this, but I had one funny story from my flight. I would love to hear yeah. that, Ed. Oh yeah, that's fucking awesome. So I was um on a flight back from Portugal, and um I had a middle seat, which was very sad, and I was sitting between two adult men. Right? Yes. They were both very large, and they wouldn't let me use the fucking armrests. I was getting very upset because there is a rule. Do you guys know about airplane etiquette? Like who gets which armrest? Because there is a I, distinct, I, I don't. I usually take whichever one is free. There is, is a free. distinct rule. Left side gets the one on their left. Middle gets both. And the one on the right gets the one on his right. And he gets the extra leg room from being in a hallway. That's it. What? That's airplane etiquette right there. Neither of these fucking mm -hmm, would let me take either armrest. So I was fucking, I, I was fucking skinny McGee in the middle trying to use my phone and they would constantly be like elbowing me in the ribs. It was really fun. The guy on my left, besides the armrests, very inoffensive. The guy on my right, I might have been sitting next to the most racist man alive. Oh no, dude. So before we took off, he was on his phone and he was on TikTok and he was on his For You page. I'm specifically saying For You page because his entire For You page was only Charlie Kirk, Turning Point USA, owning La Feminists. Oh, man. He wasn't on the Charlie Kirk profile picture on profile on TikTok. He was on his For You page. His algorithm was just Turning Point. I, I was like, I was texting one of my friends out of panic, like, I might be sitting next to the most racist man alive. <laughs> and let me tell you, it gets worse. Because if there's one thing that I hate more than racism it's poorly consuming art so this dude right the plane takes off and he has to put his phone on airplane mode he stops watching his charlie kirk tiktoks and he opens netflix he has like a page of 20 downloads now 
I wrote down the things he watched. Give me a second. <laughs> are you fucking? Are you gonna be in one of those fuck? Are you David Lynch Stop right now? Stop watching movies on your, on your no, fucking no, phone. No. <laughs> no, because I do that. I I was watching The Simpsons while he was doing his thing. So but Simpsons is Simpsons is not for the bourgeoisie like a David. Uh, so Lynch the movie. first thing he did, <laughs> the first thing he did was watch. You guys know Wes Anderson recently put out like a series of anthology short thingies on Netflix. Uh, no, I didn't. He put out, he put out like four of them. One of them is called Poison, I think. He watched 30 seconds of that, closed it, and then instantly deleted it. And I went, okay, well, I'm going to guess he didn't like it. That's fine. I haven't seen it. I don't know if it's good or not. Maybe it's should. Consumer. But then the other one that he did, and I got to look this up because I couldn't recognize what show this was. So I wrote down a bunch of keywords to help me find it. He was watching a show on Netflix called Who is Aaron Carter, which I've never heard of in my life. I don't know what that is either. Yeah. And he was on episode six. So clearly this is something that he's like watching actively and, you know, keeping up with. And dude, he was going to drive me fucking crazy. Whenever somebody would stop talking, not when a dialogue scene would end. It's whenever a sentence would end, he would fast forward 10 seconds. Oh, Every single consumer. time. Dude, two people would be talking like shot reverse shot over the shoulder shit. Every sentence, skip 10 seconds ahead. Skip 10 seconds ahead. And I was like, dude, you're gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to kill you. Well, you see, the, the faster I consume the media, the better the media is. Oh, uh, that drives me crazy. This dude was like in his 50s. Like, like I expect this out of like a 15-year-old. You're an adult? I'm going to be honest. I'm not surprised by that. 50-year-olds are that way. Yeah, think, think about how impatient they are. The, the same generation that will like moan and bitch and complain about people be on their cell phone will be on their cell phone the same exact amount. Mm. Oh, absolutely. It's, 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 it's not surprising that a 50 year old is like fucking ADHD pilled skipping through the movie to try to like experience this shit as fast as possible. And here's yeah. the thing for a second. I was like, okay, this looks like it's like a really like standard like spy thriller show from what I can tell from watching because he has the subtitles on. Maybe he doesn't care about the dialogue. Maybe he just wants to watch the action scenes. The moment anybody pulled out a gun, he would skip 30 seconds. And if somebody yeah, still had need, a gun... You already know you already know what's going to happen. It's going to get shot. Come on. And if somebody still had a gun after he skipped, he would skip another 30 seconds. Oh. And he watched the whole show like this on the plane. I was I, I, I can't I, I was can't so even, pissed off. It's so what an insane way to consume any media, I mean, you, but also the, the normal part of me says experience media the way you want to experience it, but the like other part of me is like Ugh. it's not even like, oh, you need to respect the art. Because for all we know, this show could be awful. I've never seen it in my life. So maybe I don't blame him. But at the same time, it's like just fucking do anything else. Watch anything else. You clearly don't like this. Why are you wasting your time? You're not enjoying this. <laughs> I was fucking to, to, to grab your phone, play a phone game, write something, do anything. To be fair, it's kind of weird that you just started watching him <laughs> just, just yeah. do things. You're kind of a dude, creep. If you, dude, you're a I weirdo. Swear to, I swear to God, I could not help myself. It was like fucking Bigfoot. I have never yeah. seen something like that in my life. <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? That's dude? what I told him. <laughs> uh, I have a, I have a small airplane story. It's, it's not a story. All of my stories are just things happening at me. But I want to say it Ain't anyway. That's the truth. <laughs> They, don't, they never have an ending. <laughs> but uh, in like early 2022, yep. I was flying back from visiting my boyfriend at the time. He lives in Memphis. Uh, and I was flying back to California with it from there. And I was sitting next to this person. I was trying to get comfortable, but I just really couldn't. So he offered me a neck pillow. And that was very nice. Okay. And then a little bit later into the flight... He pulled out this bag of candy and he offered me some. And I was like, okay, because I'm stupid. What? 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 Free candy. I ate, it. <laughs> I ate it. It tasted good. I don't know what it was. <laughs> and I start. he asked me, like, what I was doing, where I was going. I said, uh, oh, I was just visiting some people and I'm going back home. What, what are you doing? And he said he was going to L.A. to make some music. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. A little, little music maker. What are they called, the mu musicians? Producers. Producers. Musicians. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I said, oh, where can I check out your stuff? Oh, nice. That's opening Pandora's box. Shout out to, to Trigger Blue for giving me candy in a neck. <laughs> Trigger <laughs> Trigga Blue? 
<laughs> Let's go! <laughs> we have evidence! Yeah. Oh, that's him! Trigger Blue! Yeah, that's him! Dude, that's fucking awesome! That's some king shit. <laughs> yeah. He was really nice. Right, me, I, I have this muted. Hang on, let me listen to this. His new song is called Lethal Injection. <laughs> It's about it's about stuffing eclairs with a lethal amount of like cream. Don't worry, it's nothing. It's not it's not death. It's a bakery song. Oh, he just tweeted. My new single is called "I Miss My Neck Pillow." Where is my <laughs> neck pillow? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I one hundred percent gave it back to him. By the way, I did not. Oh, okay, good, good. I think I watched ten seconds of that and I got sent into a different dimension. <laughs> I think I ascended a little bit. I can't tell. I'm not a gun guy. Those guns aren't real, right? Yes, these are real guns. I think he's talking about shooting people. For some context, I think Memphis is one of the most dangerous cities in the United States. It's where the most murders happen. Oh. Yeah, but they got that Bass Pro Shop pyramid, so it's all cool, right? Yeah, I went there. I bought a moose mode. Oh my god, I want to go so bad. Ugh. <laughs> I want to go get a lure. Just like a... a, a Normal ass Rapala. I just need one. Did I did I talk about my Bass Pro Shop experience? Not the pyramid, but I went to I went to a big Bass Pro Shop in Omaha. You went to Bass Pro Shop without me? Yeah, that was when I was a kid. It's because um my grandparents went there and they signed up for some like contest, which they won a little bit of. It was they got a bunch of fancy food, so I got to try caviar. Uh, but another thing I remember it was it was the opening and Larry the Cable Guy was there shooting T shirts at people. Okay. So imagine you're in a Bass Pro Shop. It's big. It's not like Pyramid Big. Yeah. But Larry the Cable Guy is standing on a podium firing t-shirts out of a gun at people. And he fucking points at me. He fires a gun. He fires the gun. The t-shirt flies towards me. I grab it and an elderly man rips it out of my hands and runs away. And Larry didn't see it. So I'm just sitting there. No Bass Pro Shop Pyramid t-shirt. What the fuck? No Larry interaction. What an asshole. What kind of fucking asshole does that to do it? Kid, what? That's Zero crazy. Larry interaction, and to this day, I'm still peeved about it. I'd be, I'd still be pissed. I agree. You fucking asshole, who does that? I'm shirtless. This is so sad. Larry, if you're listening to the podcast, lying on the bathroom floor, I knew it. I fucking knew me. it. I, <laughs> I like repetitious bits. I'm sorry. Oh my god. I also like repetition. Oh, Sheena, pass me more candy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh I ate the one that he gave me. It was strawberry no, flavored. no, she ate the trigger blue candy. What will I do? I did. <laughs> he was really nice. I'm sorry if he's racist. <laughs> That's like my girlfriend introducing me to her family. He's really nice. I'm sorry if he's racist. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that's Aww. just like the new thing, you know. You you're like, ah, oh, here's my cousin. I'm he's a cool guy. Yeah, he might say the n word. It's like <laughs> that reminds me. Oh White Fucking people, man. One time, same guy. By the way, my friend Phil had a friend yeah. of his. From, <laughs> he had a friend of his from Manchester, of. <laughs> visiting and they've been like friends for ages and the friend like uh like without telling phil brought his girlfriend and phil had never met this woman so he really wanted to make like a good impression and he brought me along to like break the ice because they hadn't seen each other in like six years so i was like yeah fuck it i'll join so it was like the four of us hanging out getting some beers catching up uh, they were asking like about me and whatever and then i mentioned like oh yeah i live near like the city center like we're not that far away from my place actually and if phil was like Oh, yeah, his place is really nice, but, like, because it's in the center, there's always, like, people, like, loitering outside. Like, like when I was when I was uh, on my way there, like, just today, before we went out, there was, like, these four black kids, like, sitting outside his place, and, and, and they were, like, fucking giving me, like, snake eyes. And um and then I Some turned... Snake eyes? Uh, not, not snake eyes, but what, what do you call it? Like, the fucking... Stink eye? Like a glare? Stink eye, stink eye, yes, uh. thank you. Not snake eyes, fucking idiot. And then I turned to the guy's girlfriend, and I went... He did not call them black kids first time he told this story. Oh. <laughs> and then and then she was like, just, huh? <laughs> and then Phil was so embarrassed. He was like, oh my God, no, Ed's joking. He's joking. I'm not racist. I, he's just, he's he's trying to be funny. Okay. And she went, oh, okay. Yeah, that's funny. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then we completely moved on from that. And we were out for fucking like ages. I was out till 2 a.m. And then I said, all right, I'm calling it a night. And they ended up being out till like 5 a.m. And in the morning, Phil had been calling me since like 8 a.m. I had so many missed calls and I just 
called him after. I was like, what? What's up, man? Like, there, something happened? And then he just went, you are a motherfucker. You know that? And I went, what? What did I do? And he went, you know, when I was saying bye to them at like 6 a.m., I like I like hugged the dude's girlfriend and she went, Phil, it was lovely to meet you, but I'm going to be honest. I really don't like what you call those black kids, by the way. You can't do that. <laughs> Aww. Did he actually call? Wait, no, of course actually? not. Oh, of course no, not. you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> That's why he was pissed. Oh, yeah, I'd be pissed too then. <laughs> so that means that between like midnight at 6 a.m., she thought he was like the most racist person she's oh ever met. Oh my God, Ed. <laughs> oh, oh fuck. no. That poor man. <laughs> yeah. I treat him like, um, I don't know if you guys ever watched the Norm MacDonald podcast. I treat him like his co-host. Like, I'm always describing him as like a racist and an anti-Semite to people. Oh, my God. Like, just recently, me and a couple of my friends went out. Uh, Phil wasn't there, but we bumped into one of our friends. And we hadn't seen her for like 10 years. She was like a childhood friend of ours. And Phil had like a massive crush on her back in the day. And then uh, she had like fucking, we were chat for like an hour. And then she looked at me. She was like, oh, by the way, where's Phil? Is he not in Brussels as well? And I went, oh, no, he is. Uh, right now he's grounded. Uh, he still lives with his parents and he's unemployed. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. God. <laughs> None of those are true, by the way. No, no yeah, shit. He's grounded. He's in big trouble. He's got. And then, and then I was listing all his negative traits. Like, if I were to describe Phil, it'd be like no prospects, no future, no um. Oh my gosh. Um, and then I was, what? and then I started the looking up at the sky. Your deal? And then I was looking up at the sky. And I was like, he has no um. What's the word? And then one of my friends tapped my shoulder, and he went drive, and I went yes, no drive, thank you. Yes, he has no drive. Oh my god, you're mean. <laughs> Dude, I'm you're so the dirty. you're like the fucking worst, dude. Ed, you play too many you play too many games. I'm like Hannibal Lecter behind the cells, <laughs> doing all the mind games. Call me Anthony Hopkins because I'm really old and my memory's going to shit. We should do Patreon questions. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man, Patreon questions. Uh, if you're part of the $5 and above tiers on our Patreons, you can ask a question for the Patreon Q&A. So true. Okay, Mr. DJ asks, if you had to live in one video game... We already it, we already did that one. It, 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 you know, we didn't do it. Uh, it would be Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, exactly. Because of the cool <laughs> balloons. Fuck. Six because days the- in Fallujah. No! Yeah, we already, we already I would get it done one. in three. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, oh, sorry, don't say I don't that. Know anything about that game? <laughs> oh my God, Brendan! Jesus Christ! I really. You, so, oh my God, Brendan! Do you know? Do you know? Wait, do you not know what happened in Fallujah? No, I don't. <laughs> I'm not the bread that you've infected my brain. I'm imagining like <laughs> AGDQ six days in Fallujah, but they call it 28 minutes in Fallujah. Oh my oh, God. Oh, is that a war crime thing? Oh, yes. no. Yes. Oh. Well, I retract my answer. I pick Mario. Mario. I would go to the Munchroom Kingdom and eat the, the Munchroom. The Munchroom. The guy with the hat asks, what is the worst editing mistake you've ever made and it can be anything video stream artwork whatever i kind of have to think about that one but i think that's a fun question i i actually i have an almost immediate answer i think um i made a video a while back called like rating minecraft blocks and i think it's the reason it blew up is because of one editing mistake where I mislabeled sponge as terracotta because I was going through every single block and I missed it. And all of the comments at the beginning when I released that video were like, hot, d- lol, it, that's sponge. And then it got like a million and a half views, I think, just <laughs> oh because God. I mislabeled sponge. <laughs> so it was like the worst thing, the worst editing mistake I feel like I've made accidentally made the video blow up. Otherwise, I mean, uh, that's showing cool, my balls on multiple videos. I mean, my worst editing mistake, if we can include streams, because I can't think of one in a video because my videos are fucking awesome, would have to be like that. I remember which. Did you like pass out? Yes, that's one the one that I was yeah, going to mention. The one. Yeah, yeah, when yeah. I was streaming one of the Life is Strangers, I forget which one. And I went a bit too overzealous with the amount of shots I was drinking while playing that that I fully passed out on stream. And uh, the last thing I said was somebody, these are the last words I said. Somebody in chat asked me like, hey, Ed, what's your favorite MCU movie? And with a mouthful of pizza, I yelled, white Zetsu. (laughs) 
which is a character from Naruto. Yeah, man. <laughs> I agree. Um, and then I passed out in the stream was online for 12 hours <laughs> yeah I, I remember that we uh we were that that uh, chat was very lively though it was very fun it was so funny because like what ended up happening was i just fell asleep at my desk and then at some point i managed to tear all my clothes off thank god i didn't have <laughs> oh a my webcam. god and i and i fucking snake crawled all the way to my bed and then i woke up and i hit stop streaming <laughs> you remember you were really trashed <laughs> You yeah. were particularly trash that day. I was, uh, yeah. Uh, that was the second. No, that was the one of the most drunk I've ever been. I remember, but I remember like specifically. It's you can tell I'm shit faced because I start gurgling a lot when I talk. And one of my favorites, which, you start gurgling. Yeah, and one of my favorites was when I was fucking streaming this. I remember this one specifically. I was streaming the end of the first Life is Strange movie, and I was very very far gone that i started gurgling and singing the um the not the portuguese national anthem but it was the song that played <laughs> on the radio at 6 a.m once our independence day started on april 25th for all the portuguese listeners i was list i was singing grandula vila morena while off my fucking ass i got somebody really just clapped so hard i got so patriotic for no fucking reason but yeah, that's uh, that's mine. It was both times I was very, very drunk. I don't think I um. I know which ones yours are, Billy. It's the ones where like I'll say a name and I'll be like, "Hey, you need to censor that," and then you go like, "I mean, Oops. I guess. I mean, I guess they're they're not that crazy though." Yeah. Like uh, the the worst the worst mistake I've ever done like for work was the radio story I told a few weeks back. I think. Apart from that, I I don't think I've done a lot of fucky wuckies that are that bad i think i'm in the same boat like the most i can really say is that like whenever i post art um because i don't make videos or anything uh but whenever i post art in my mind i'm posting it like right after i finish when i'm like i'm riding off the high of like actually finishing something i i get that you just like go in and you're like i did it put it put it into the world let it let it happen yeah and like the i guess like the quote mistake would just be me getting better passively over time and then looking back and being like i could have done this better but i wouldn't say there was like a blunder yeah that is like incredibly embarrassing or anything yeah, I don't know. I, I only, that's that's all I can really share. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer this one because I swear to God I get asked like every single episode. <laughs> Cole Smith asks, yeah. "Is the D and D thing still happening that you fundraised for?" Yes, yes. We uh, uh, there are two episodes fully edited. We're we're building up a backlog because these episodes take a lot of time to make. And in December, we are supposed to record like at least three episodes so that we have an even bigger backlog. And then in January with PSD 2.0 and uh, our new video game show, Press Start Turbo, we should have subliminal space coming out Yay. as well. That's so exciting. I'm working on it. It takes time. Also, December, there's not going to be any episodes coming out because I'm going to be working on everything else. You'll see. You'll see. Billy, I don't get it. Why isn't it finished? Why don't you hit the done button? Because my dad killed himself. Oh, and that's Billy. the episode, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Oh, man. We can't do that. We can't. Uh, <laughs> dude, I got funny. people got so angry at me because last episode I talked about it. What? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I know. Last episode, I we I, I was like, I, I I tried something new with PSD where I was like, oh, what if we had a, a normal like real moment of talking and then go and I was like, okay, because Brendan was talking about his dad and his struggle with his dad, and then I we both like started talking about it, and then I was like, oh, this is a bit more serious but it's i think it's important for people to know that we are human and then after the when the episode came out the uh, we got so many comments of people saying billy's such a fucking buzzkill fuck that guy what the i, I honestly know. i think I your like, dad's Whoa. the buzzkill but go off yeah if he yeah i, I don't know <laughs> i didn't know what to say i was like okay no, whatever people fake the billy so we're not so we're not using that oh no we are 
Oh, we are using that as an <laughs> that's, ending? That's, no, no. If, if, if somebody wants to get really angry in the comments, let them, let them provoke their ire at me. Listen, if you want to get mad at Billy, just get directly mad at me, and I will absorb your anger into myself, and I'll become stronger. <laughs> Remember, every single time you get angry at me or you despise me, it only grows me. I only grow more powerful every I'm the moment. opposite. I start crying and become a shell no, of myself. Brendan, me. I will feel myself <laughs> fat and fetid, lying naked on the bathroom no, floor. No, shut up! Covered in your viscous hate. <laughs> Bre Brendan is true. Brendan is being true right now. What we do is um, we have like a Frankenstein type lab and I'm the doctor and Brendan is my little freak who's sitting on the table and instead of harnessing lightning I have like my phone pulled up and I'm just reading YouTube comments and Brendan is getting larger and larger and I'm going, yeah, yes, reading yes, comments yes, like yes. this guy sounds like Markiplier <laughs> this guy acts like Germa this guy sounds like Markiplier and I just grow stronger ever to stronger. be fair it's really annoying when you just constantly act like Germa and sound yeah, like dude, Markiplier what the hell? Whoa, whoa. yeah I mean I need to stop I need to fucking grow you really up. need to grow up up and get a personality. I'm a 30 year old man. I can't do bits anymore. I need to talk about taxes and shit. No more comedy. No more grumbling. We bring in a single centimeter tall. <laughs> you guys uh, fill out those uh, TPI That's reports? Really, that that Pretty would cool. be a really tall Brendan. Yeah, yes, sir, Mr. Marketplier. I'll have him on your desk by Monday. <laughs> I have nowhere else to talk about this, but isn't it weird how in Mario and Luigi the Superstar Saga, the Mario, when he talks, he always goes, like he's Irish, but he's like Italian, actually. I don't know, man. I, I've been thinking about that a lot. Almost as much as I've been thinking about how much I am thankful for every top supporter on our Patreon. Thank you so much to Alan Diver, Art of Ogden, Beer, Bland But Funny, Boo Poo Lou, Caffeine Addicted Chemist, Cheese Dreams, Chris Chapman, Dasul Burt, Delling City, Dreams of Ice, Ducky Madness, DX Studios, Eric Scott Gillies, Ethereal, Generic Phoenix, Handsome Destiny, Hater 115, John Requires Lasagna, Kawaii Boy Toy, Leo the Geotech, Loudon Woodworth, Mr. Shirt, Random Diamonds, Rocco Man, Smeet Mono, Spherical May, Teague, The Frost Ace, The Snacksalotl, Winnie Rab, and Will 9455. We hope you enjoyed this episode of the podcast and we'll see you tomorrow. The tomorrow, but the, the next time. Oh!